Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews with special guest Christina. Our first beer review of 2024. This is a beer that I got on my last Tavor crate. Actually, there's another one on the way. So this is a from a American brewery, but it has a Japanese name. Uh, it's called New Hokkaido Yamabiko Rice Lager. So it's five percent ABV. Uh, a Fano brewery everywhere and nowhere. Rice from Japan. Fairly fresh. It was canned October 18th, so almost three months ago or whatever. Uh, so I feel like being fancy, instead of pouring lager glass, pouring the stem tool glass. And yeah, it's like a gold color. Very clear. Doesn't form much of a head, though. I mean, it does, but it fizzles away. It smells like a lager. Yep. I mean, it's I got rice in it, so it does have kind of like a Budweiser kind of right. smell to it. Yeah, uh, it has like a general, slightly sweet smell, like almost like caramel or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that would be fruity or just sweet. Yeah, it could have like a fruity, slightly fruity yeast character to it. Yeah. I don't really know what we're in for, so I guess we'll find out. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it tastes like a pretty light lager. This would be a lot better on the porch during the day than inside at night. Yeah. No, I think that's really it's interesting. It does have a slight, I think like I'll get like a little bit of green grape on here. Yeah. Or maybe a green pear. I was thinking kind of like maybe a stone fruit, tan, um, plum or peach. Yeah, I saw they mentioned that in the... I think it was on the website or whatever. They did mm -hmm. say that you do get like a stone fruit character on here. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, um, tastes like a rice. Beer. But it's yeah that whatever that fruitiness is is more of like a essence or the impression. It's not, you know, it's like it's not like a Belgian beer or something that has like you know huge fruitiness on it. Yeah, it's not fruity. It's as just a rule. yeah. I would just say it's like a craft lager. It's got like a little bit of a you know, yeast character to it. Yeah. Looks like it's very refreshing. It is. I'm kind of disappointed though, because like, you look at it in the glass now, and it's like it looks like flat. You know, because like when you poured it, it just fizzled away pretty quickly. Yeah. It I always thought like... this would be like really effervescent. You know. I thought so too, because when we popped the can, it fizzed really well for a second there, but then just immediately mm -hmm. went flat. Kind of looks like a wine now. <laughs> Yeah, it finishes, you know, quite dry. Mm -hmm. uh, very clean aftertaste. Yeah. I, I, the mouthfeel on it, it's... Light. Yeah, pretty light. I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably say straight up light. Mm -hmm. um, light and low carbonation, so... Yeah, be, probably, yeah, moderately low. It would be easy to, I think, drink a few of these back to back. Yeah. Slightly, slightly crisp. Mm -hmm. I would say it's re refreshing. Like I said, this would be... This would be more ideal in the summer outside than in the side in the winter at night. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they put this out, I guess, for the Tabor Christmas crate, but yeah, it would be good in the summer. As a craft lager, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, it's not really doing a whole lot for me, but as far as score, so it's 2024, we're switching to a 1 to 10 scale. So like on Tabor, I'd do like 3.5, so like 7 out of 10. Actually... I don't know, even that seems a little high. I might go like six and a half, maybe. I think, yeah, like six, six and a half, somewhere around there. Um, I'll do a 3.75. So what is that? Seven and a half? Seven and a half? It's uh, not the most exciting beer, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. I mean, for what it is. Yeah, it was fairly cheap. It was only, it was $11 for two full pint cans. So that's five fifty each. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um. By the way, guys, on Tavor, link in the description below. Use my code to get $10 off, and it lets them know that I sent you. All right, so thanks to Chris for coming over, and we'll see you for the next review. Cheers. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs>